Good morning, my dear friend, and today we're going to review a new game that's called Pathless Wood. It's only a day after release and I never write reviews, but it's really access game has me super impressed. The mechanics are different and interesting, so it's not a drudging some old sandbox open world survival. The bones and meat to the game so far are already really fun. The demo was addictive and 8 hours into the just released, early access is even better. The building is smooth and looks great, the creatures and mobs you find, the farming, the combat system, the crafting and the composite full rest all keep me on my tools. I love the chi and physics system so much, it does a whole new lawyer to how you take care of yourself and how that translates into your abilities. This way you can just chase the game and eat thousand yams and drink water. There is many regions to explore and when I go out I always find myself discovering new things, unlocking new recipes and combating new challenges. Of course as well the art style is super cute. I'd say some new and controls feel it difficult to get used to at first, but every time I find there's a button for the things that I wanted to do all along. When you just spawn in the explore little, it's not super obvious about all the interesting things the game has to offer you how to get used to the mechanics first and give it some time to find more enemies and environmental challenge to get stuck up about. To help this you must do the quest in the beginning to get an essential tools and a good step into what you are starting. You can customize your own character so if you are into that, that is disappointing. I believe this because they have slots in the game for a variety of future playable character and those characters will have skins as well. From what I've seen on the roadmap, the future updates will be big game development and I'm stoked. It's pretty obvious where the game will add more meat, like more playable character, livestock system, more ties, including iron, more regions, maybe more follower types, new resources, usages, etc. It's such a good start the ocean will hear some limitless. I really want to support this game and see what it can become and hope also will give it a chance too. Even so, I am recommending this game. I want to make it clear that you should wait on getting this game at least until they fix some things. The game has a wonderful custom weapon tools crafting system that allows you to mix and match a lot of skills. It also has a very interesting food system that requires balancing warm and cold foods while also making sure they give enough nutrition. These two systems single-handedly make this game a stressful game instead of the cozy game. The issues with the system is it requires you to be constantly getting new food, and even your inventory will expire. The inventory is handled by bags, but seeing it does have an expiration time, you have to worry about that too at some point. What this all means is to even kind of relax in this game. You have to eat the Easy is to get stuff only that you doesn't worry about exploration and you have to make the highest durability tools that don't require you to gather more. Because let me tell you, a lot of tools via point durability will just vanish and food experience within 3 or 4 in-game days which go by kinda quickly. All of this means you have chose to constantly do and not really time to explore or enjoy yourself. The problem with the durability also means it unoptional to craft custom equipment which is main selling point of the game. I think once the two problems are addressed, the game will be a lot more relaxing and a lot more enjoyable. There is a lot of fun and stuff to do in this game, but ultimately right now it's just not possible to do those things because you having to micromanage two things constantly. If this was a hardcore survival game, I could understand them, but this game is being sold as a cozy game, so this really should just not exist. While there are many games similar to Petless Wood, Valheim, Salas Blazers and perhaps Thorder Wooly comes to mind this game does things a little differently. And I think it's often success in doing some of those things better. For example, if feature most of the quality of life features that are often and after slowed is similar games. Features that I've never seen in a unmodded sandbox game. For instance, when looking at the resource, players can press Q to auto switch to an appropriate tools provided tools is somewhere in the hotbar. 
There is one with several small but signification QL improvement over similar game. It means many players complain about a clunky UE. I think these complaints are likely to be very valid to a certain types of players so I don't wish to dismiss the concern. But I think the UE is quite brilliant. Also, there are a lot of different case tones and game combination to use. Thank you for watching guys and see you later. Goodbye.